Forever Yours here. Um, I am doing this video because I've actually been thinking about doing this video for a while. I just didn't have all the supplies that I needed. Um, I started to run out of my vitamins and I kind of needed all of them in order to do this video. So, um, this video, I will actually, when I edit it, I will put down here somewhere. Um, if you don't want to see certain part of the video, where to skip to to see the rest of it. So this video is actually two different videos in one. First part of the video is um, how to grow your hair faster, um, basically. Um, and then the other one is how to maintain healthy hair, or as healthy as you can get it if you're dyeing your hair a lot, uh, like I do. Um, I keep my hair very, actually, quite healthy if it's not for the that. Um, and I use mainly natural products or close to uh, natural products in order to keep it oh, like this. Um, so yeah, anyway, so I'll be going over the products I use and everything and what exactly the vitamins I take to make my hair and brain work all great and stuff. I can if I take my vitamins, I can get extreme amounts of growth um, in even a week. I have actually gotten, it sounds crazy, I've gotten an inch in a week, which is ridiculous. Um, and it's all from drinking more water and taking my vitamins. It also depends on what my nutrients are that week with what I eat. Um, but as far as the vitamins that are really good for hair growth, there are vitamin supplements that are specifically centered around hair growth and two of the ones that I know that are really good because my work sells them and I've used both of them. I used Hairfinity for eight months and I was getting really good growth with that. Um, it had all the essential vitamins in it. Um, no crap. Um, and I was getting, like I said, really good growth with that, but we got in main choice and I switched to that to try and see exactly which one I liked more so I could tell customers and actually I like this one a lot more and I get more growth with it but we have also found that um, people with very um, sensitive skin hair affinity for some reason sometimes can break them out um, but it didn't break me out it broke some other people out um, and we actually only got maybe five of those as complaints out of the couple hundred people who come to our store to buy this product. Um, other than that, uh, we found that Hair Affinity works better for people over the age of 40, and Main Choice works better for people who are 40 and under. Now, I get great growth with this before I started taking extra vitamins, but I then because I grew up a nutritionist, I actually grew up taking all natural vitamins, so I know quite a bit about the vitamins and stuff like that, but I'm not taking all natural ones now, sadly, because I cannot afford it as a college student. Um, some of the things that are good, um, we're not going to start off with this one because this one's needed to make the other ones stick. Um, vitamin B12. Uh, this one is really good for like metabolism and stuff like that, but it also helps with hair growth a little bit. Um, and it's really good for, um, like, energy. If you want to be energized, vitamin B12 helps a lot, but it's very good for your hair as well. Um, iron is really good for your hair. And again, general wellness. Um, and as far as the supplements go, depending on how much it says on here, depends on how many you should take because they will say to take one or two. If the vitamins aren't all natural, the bottle generally doesn't really know what it's talking about. I mean, it kind of does, but yet it doesn't at the same time. Like for iron, yeah, I only take one, like it says. But vitamin B12, it says to take one, I take two. Um, and this is all from, I actually consulted even my mother because my mother, like I said, I was raised a nutritionist. My mom sold all natural vitamins, so she knows what she's talking about. So I walked up to her and was just like, hey, how many should I take of all of these? And yeah. So 
Um, vitamin E, I take two of these a day. Um, take one of the iron, I take two of vitamin B12. Now, this is a 400 um, IU, and this one is a 65 milligram, and so it's, yeah. Um, the stress relief complex, the vitamin B's in here are really good for your hair, but I also take it for my brain as well to help balance out my stress levels so I remain a sane person. Ah! Um, but it really helps with my hair too because vitamin B is great for your hair and that's not the only thing in here. Niacin is in here which is great for your hair. Folic acid which is great for your hair. Biotin which is amazing for your hair. More zinc. Um, so yeah and thiamine which is good for your hair. Um, fish oil is amazing for your hair and other body stuff. Yeah it's great for your heart too. Um, if you don't feel like taking fish oil vitamins, you can just eat a ton of fish. But you'd have to eat a lot of fish. Um, if you're Asian, don't work. Um, calcium. Calcium is amazing for your bones and for your hair. Um, I take two of these, even though it says to take one. Or no, it says to take two, I take three, sorry. Wow, okay, anyway. Uh, fish oil, I take two like it says, I don't take any more. Um, stress relief complex, I do take two where it says to take one, but uh, I find that the more vitamin B I have in my system, the happier person I am, because vitamin B is the happy pill, and my brain has issues with doing certain things, like with stress. Um, I don't become depressed, I just get really irritable. Um... I think that's the word for it. Vitamin C, which is good for immune health, is also amazing for your hair. Um, magnesium. You need magnesium in order for the calcium to stick. So, like, if you have brittle bones or anything like that, you need to take calcium. You need to be taking magnesium at the same time, because otherwise, your calcium is not going to do you any good. It's not going to do anything for you at all. I mean, it might do a little bit from the magnesium you might get in your food, but, you know. Um, zinc is really good for your hair and immune system. I take one of these. The zinc and the iron, if you take too much, uh, iron can mess with your stomach. Zinc can, you know, something like that. Might be both, I don't know. Um, biotin. This thing says to take one, and this is 10,000 MCGs. My mother said to take two. So... Yeah, and this is good for hair, skin, and nails. Um, and like I said, I take two. So I take 20,000 of this on top of... In this, there is 5,000 in this. Um, but... And there's a whole bunch of other stuff in this, too. Folic acid thing. Anyway, this is like everything you need in it. But um, I take this extra stuff because... It's not all natural, I take it extra. And then on top of that, it makes my hair grow so much faster when I take the right amount of vitamins. Yesterday, like I had run out of all my vitamins. I went and got them yesterday. I took all of them yesterday. I took them again this morning. Yesterday morning, I didn't have any hair growth. Like, regrowth at all. Um, and it was bugging me because normally, in a week... After dyeing my hair, I have so much regrowth. I told you, I can have up to uh, an inch of regrowth, which is ridiculous. Um, like, people at my work constantly are like, holy crap! But, um, I took the vitamins yesterday, and I took them this morning, and then I looked at my regrowth again about the afternoon, and I have regrowth now. Like, you can see my regrowth. <laughs> that's ridiculous, because that's, wow. Um, anyway, uh, and then garlic. Garlic is amazing for your immune system. Um, like if you're catching something, you need to take a bunch of garlic. Um, it's also good for health. Uh, but, like heart health. Um, but it's also great for your hair. That is, I mean, it's not as good for your hair as all the other stuff, but it's also good. It's good. It's really good for you. Um... That's all as far as vitamins go.
Uh, another really good thing for when you're growing your hair out, uh, do a lot of hot oil treatments to your hair. Uh, my hair is actually overdue for one. I need to do a good hot oil treatment. For hot oil treatment, you can use many different products. Um, you can use anywhere from the regular extra virgin or virgin olive oil, olive oil that you have in your cabinet, um, to some nice stuff that you buy at the store. Uh, I use the all natural oils from the store rather than the stuff from the grocery store, even though the grocery store is cheaper, just because I like the products and they smell better and they do better stuff for my hair. Um, and I know you guys have seen this bottle before if you've seen some of my previous videos. This is not coffee, I promise. I mean, co coffee syrup. This is actually all the oils that I use in my hair. Um, in this, I have vitamin E, I have carrot, carrot, vitamin E oil, carrot oil, olive oil, uh, jojoba oil, argan oil, keratin oil, a couple others. And then I also add black castor oil. Black castor oil is great for hair growth, by the way. Like, amazing. People can have major issues with hair growth. And if they put black castor oil on their hair, oh my gosh. The Jamaican black castor oil is amazing. And it doesn't matter if you get it in the scents. The scents are awesome, too. This one is um, lavender scented. And it's my favorite one out of all the scents. Uh, sadly enough, my work does not sell this scent. We sell regular, which stinks, uh, and coconut, which I'm allergic to. So, yeah. I have found out I can touch coconut, though. So I might try doing coconut once I finally run out of all these free samples that we have, because, well, we had. Uh, he gave them all to me because we don't sell it. But I put this stuff on my hair all the time. Love it. Uh, this stuff you can just put into a bowl, put it in the microwave, heat it up. Um, generally I heat mine up for 10-15 seconds and I actually still let it cool afterwards because it winds up so hot. Oil heats up so quickly. And then my handy dandy friends here, my dollar pack of eight disposable shower caps, or processing caps, whichever one you want to call them. I put one of those on my head and I sit around for anywhere from 10 minutes to five hours and then rinse it out. It's great for hair growth. Um, another thing that's really good for hair growth is mane and tail shampoo and conditioners. These are freaking amazing. I mean, like really freaking amazing. Uh, <laughs> I use this product. They're for natural hair. Um, and like I said, a freaking amazing. I love they have this type, they have anti-dandruff, they have a two-in-one anti-dandruff, which is what I use when I want my hair to fade quicker so I can dye it another color quicker. Um, they have color protectant, and I think I already said extra moisturizing. And then they also have like little jars of like um, custards and stuff like that. Uh, they don't have a deep conditioner, sadly enough. I wish they did. Um, I think they have a leave-in, I mean, they have this leave-in conditioner, they have a different type, but this is also their detangling leave-in conditioner, and I use this every day as well. Um, mixed in with the, uh, Argan Oil, um, Strength and Shine leave-in conditioner. It's actually, in order to use it, you can see I just used it recently. Um, when you get it, hold on, let's see. When you get it, <laughs> this is my new bottle. I'm still not out of this one. It looks like this. Um, let's see if I can get it. Okay, it's two different colors. See, there's the line there. This is the protein, and this is the oil. You have to shake it up before using it to mix all that ingredients in together, and then spray it on your hair. It smells amazing, and it does amazing stuff to your hair. Um. So as far as growing hair. Um, there's that. Also, you can go the all-natural route. No, this is not vinegar, but vinegar is actually good for your hair. Um, this right here, uh, the bottom half, I should probably 
I would peel this off, but I'm not sure if it'll come off the way I want it to. Um, the bottom half is the all-natural, um, like, shampoo thing that you buy at, like, at all-natural stores, um, that hemp make your own stuff. This one's almond. Um, the top half up here is a whole bunch of stuff. This is an all-natural shampoo that I made myself that I use when I remember to use it once a week. Um, and then I leave it on while I, I, wa I wash my hair with it. I don't worry about, like, how much I rinse it, really. Um, I use it at night, and then I leave it on. I, I rinse it out, but I don't, like, really rinse it out. And then I wake up in the morning with really, really greasy hair, uh, and then I wash my hair again. And it's basically doing an all-night uh, hot oil treatment because inside of this has all the oils from this, and then all-natural conditioners, deep conditioners, all natural jojoba oil, like custard, like thing. Um, yeah, it's it's awesome. Um, now for part two, um, keeping extremely healthy hair. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna go over the same products actually that I did before, um, other than the vitamins. If you guys are wondering about the vitamins go back to the beginning of the video, because those are part of having really healthy hair. Um, in fact, everything that I said in the other part of the video is pretty healthy hair. But anyway, um, yeah. So, not going over the vitamins again, because that would be a pain. I've recently tried this thing here, the Reconstructive IC, I don't know if it'll, there we go. IC Reconstructive One Minute Intense Treatment. Um, because of the fact that I do so much to my hair, um, for extremely damaged hair, you don't use it for one minute, you use it for five, you use a plastic cap, and you use a dryer on your head. The plastic caps, or the processing caps. Um, but you use the hair dryer on your head for five minutes, and then you rinse it out, and you're done. Um, generally, what I do is actually, I do my two-step protein treatment first. Um, which is another, this is an Apogee product. Um, protein treatments are amazing for your hair. This, when you put it in your hair, it'll be, it's actually kind of confusing because, like I said, it's just a treatment. But, you, um, one second. Sorry, that was my boyfriend. Okay, um, so, I was on protein treatment. Protein treatment, this one, um, you open it up like it said to. Sorry, I haven't opened this one up yet. Um, yeah, I just got this one not too long ago. I think I've used it once. Anyway, um, so, the directions for the effigy. Uh, you shake well before use. Gently cleanse hair with the shoot. It says with the effigy shampoo, you don't have to. You can just wash it with the mane and tail stuff and you'll be good to go. Um, you, you apply this treatment to your hair and comb it through. Um, leave it uncovered, do not cover it with plastic cap, and heat it. Don't comb the hair when after it's getting hard because this stuff hardens on your hair. Your hair will get harder. Once it gets hard, you need to rinse it out. Um, like once it gets hard everywhere. So, you rinse it out of your hair and you towel dry. Uh, and then, it doesn't matter if the hair is slightly damp, uh, you then put on the balancing moisturizer. Uh, the balancing moisturizer you leave on for two to five minutes. Um, I leave it on for about five, uh, because of how damaged my hair can sometimes be from the all the hair color and stuff that I do to it. Uh, but my hair stays soft because I do all this stuff. Then I use, which I don't have sadly right now, but it's another Apogee product. It's their two-minute keratin treatment. 
And I actually, um, I used that, uh, for five minutes, again, because it's actually recommended for really damaged hair to do for five minutes. Even when my hair is not damaged and my hair is all natural, like, no hair dye at all, my natural color, I still leave it in for five minutes just because I like my hair to be really, really soft. I have Asian texture hair. It is not that easy to get it to be like a bunny rabbit. And I keep my hair feeling like a bunny rabbit. Um, then, I already went over this. I use this after all that. Um, yeah. So, that's those treatments. Well, then I also have, you know, I have my handy dandy, all the oils in here, mixture that I have, vitamin E, jojoba, uh, argan, keratin, uh, everything. Black castor oil. Black castor oil is great. Jamaican black castor oil. Amazing. Don't eat it. Um... But I take this and I'll do hot oil treatments to my hair, which are amazing afterwards. Um, I will also make my own all-natural deep conditioner by using the all-natural oils and mixing them just enough with this to get the same kind of substance as you would get with a hair mayonnaise. Um, and then I leave it in my hair for however long I want to with the plastic cap on top. Um, oh, by the way, the... Uh, Keratin treatment, plastic cap. This treatment, plastic cap. Um, I also use hair mayonnaise or pretty much any other deep, type of deep conditioner I can find that's good for your hair. Uh, this one was just the cheapest at work and I was broke and I needed a deep conditioner. Yeah. Laugh a cottage student! Anyway. Um, If you don't want to go with the, the mane and tail uh, shampoo and conditioner, which I don't know why you wouldn't want to, it helps your hair grow faster, it's really healthy for your hair. You can also use a whole bunch of other all-natural products, but I also really like this product here, the Keratin Protein Treatment. Um, I actually have the Keratin Protein Treatment Oil, like I said, in this. Um, and this stuff works amazing, it softens and reduces your hair, it's great. There's my all-natural mix of the hemp shampoo stuff with all the oils and things. Um, another good thing to use on your hair for daily when you have, when you're trying to keep healthy hair is the, uh, some leave-in conditioner oil treatment stuff. I use this one. It's amazing, like I said in the beginning video part. Uh, this has been mixed up now, so if you want to see me mix it up, you gotta go to the other thing. It's about here with oil and stuff, and then this part is protein. You mix it up together, it mixes into this amazing smelling, amazing for your hair uh, leave-in conditioner and shine. And then I use the mane and tail detangling uh, and not solution. Um, another good thing for your hair if you dye your hair a lot, um, if you're trying to just keep your color, uh, because when you dye your hair, obviously, the best way to keep your color in is to use cold water. I refuse to do that. I use hot water. Um, even when it's purple or blue, I use hot water. Uh, but something that's really, really good for making sure that you don't have to do it so much and this is vitamin B12 in it, um, is dry shampoo. Using that on your hair to make sure to get all the oily, yucky gunk, and then I just re-oil it up with that. Um, also, if you're the type of person who wakes up every morning... Ooh, gross. Okay, yeah, that exploded. Um, well, it didn't explode, it just, I cracked the bottle. Ooh, thank you. Well, I mean, it doesn't really stink but that much of it at once. Um, anyway, you don't have to get this one, obviously. This is just the cheapest one at my work. Um, if you are the type of person who wakes up every morning and decides, oh, I either need to 
blow dry my hair, which is not great for your hair, but don't go to bed with wet hair. I mean, you can, I do, but it, it breaks, it, it promotes breakage and split ends. Um, wait until your hair is dry and then go to bed. But if you use a blow dryer or straightener or curling iron on your hair every day, always make sure to use um, some heat protectant spray. Always, please, for the love of God. Um, it will save your hair a lot, but you're still killing your hair. I mean, you're really killing your hair. Um, you know, if you don't believe me, go watch one of those videos where the girl tries to straighten her hair and messes up and burns it off. Yeah. Um, of course, I can say the same thing about dyeing and bleaching your hair if you don't know what you're doing. So, anyway. Um, I'm going to stick this bottle, I guess, in this cup and collect my juices that way. Um, yeah. So, that is pretty much all the products that I'm using right now for um, keeping my hair nice and healthy. Uh, they are amazing for your hair. When you're, oh, another essential thing if you dye your hair and like funky colors and you want to keep it while using the dry shampoo, you don't want to dye your sink or your tub or whatever. <sighs> you're taking your shower. Shower caps. I know they look stupid, but they're totally worth it. This is like one of my best friends. Yeah. So, anyway. Um, I hope this was very informative for you. Um, the products that I showed you aren't expensive because I, like I said, I'm a college student and I can't afford but so much. The all natural shea butter thing for that big jug is $6.99 at my work. Uh, mane and tail, these are $3.99 each um, at my work. This is $3.99, $4.99. I think I got this at the dollar store. This is $4.99, I believe, or something like that. Um, where the Afigy products, they get a little bit more expensive. Um, my work, if you are looking for certain products, I suggest not going to Sally's. Um, now Sally's obviously will have some things that other places won't, but if you go to a wig store, generally you can find this stuff for a lot cheaper than at Sally's. Like at Sally's, this is like, it was like $27.99 and we sell it for $20.99. Um, and this at my work is like $7.99, whereas Sally sells it for like 10 something. Um, nothing against Sally's. I love Sally's. It's where I get this red hair color from. Um, but as far as like my adore colors when I dye my hair, other funky colors or replenish this color, like the adore I get from work for $3.99 or $4.99. $4 um, but there's like other hair dyes that I get for like $3.99, but they're not the funky colors. Um, yeah, oh, and if you're dyeing your hair like a natural, like a black or something, and you don't want to, you want it to be permanent, um, what's better than going and getting something that you have to use chloroxide with, or it's in the bottle, or what, I mean, it's in the box, or whatever, um, go with Bijan. It's a, um, it's from Japan. But instead of using chloroxide on your hair, or it, uh, or developer, or whatever you want to call it, um, use water. So it's a lot healthier for your hair. So please, this is definitely what you want if you're dyeing your hair brown or black. Um, there's one shade of burgundy that they sell. Um, there's a couple other versions of that uh, that aren't Bijan, but Bijan is my favorite out of them. Um, and also, if you're dyeing your hair with a box dye, and then you're going on to a lighter color, please don't think that there isn't bleach in that. There's bleach in it. It's lightening your hair, no matter what. Especially, and also, even the L'Oreal Hot Color highlights that I use, obviously, when I do my videos, I tell you, but my videos, for some reason, for the red, 
aren't agreeing with me, and for my other thing, they weren't agreeing with me, because I can't use my computer to dye when I'm dyeing my hair, because it, they take it in the bathroom, and it just does not work. Um, but, yeah. They have bleach in them. They are lightening your hair. They are doing massive damage. It's just not as much as doing a double process. But don't tell people, oh, I did this without bleaching my hair, because, sorry, there was lightener in there. Um, my hair right now, I might have used the L'Oreal High Color Highlights, but, or High Color, because I used both, actually. Um, there was lightener in it. So there is the damage from bleach. I just did not process it twice. Uh, anyway. So, yeah, I hope this video was informative. I hope you've enjoyed in the background watching my dog and my cat play. Uh, <laughs> so, anyway, yeah. Um, I hope you guys have healthier hair after this. And I hope you like the video. Forever yours. Love you guys.